idea of the question. It'll be easy for you. Hmm? So th this range has to be maximum on the horizontal ground. We did with only one liquid. So directly, let me do one thing. Let me consider this is a point one on the wall, point two. So let me apply Bernoulli's theorem between those two points. E1 equal to E2. E1, so this should be equal to P1 plus U plus uh, density of liquid or say like a K1. P2 plus U2 plus K2. Let's get into P1, pressure at, pressure at one. Pressure at one is P0 because this will be exposed to air. One and two are at same level. Can take in jet one. <laughs> density of emerging liquid, two rho. B1 square by two. Please, please do notice. What is the density? Density, which liquid will come out? Blue color or yellow color liquid? Yellow color liquid should obviously should come out. It's a common sense. And they're immiscible, like a water kerosene. Suppose a water, yellow color is water and blue color is kerosene. So when you open all at the water, Kerosene will come out, no, need not, the water only will come out. So these are all some minimum common sense needed. Huh? Please, please uh, have, have a, some general observation. Huh? P naught plus, what is the pressure at two? What is the state of this old liquid will be at rest? Huh? Now let's get into P2 is equal to P naught plus rho GH. 2 rho g h minus small h plus u plus what is the state of liquid there will be at rest p naught get cancels so u also get cancels u also get cancels so now rho v1 square rho also will get eliminated v1 square is equal to 3g h minus 2g h three h minus two h g into okay what is the expression for what height it will it will take some time no this jet to come and strike the ground to move from old onto the ground so h should be equal to g t square by 2 so this is 2 h by g then what is the horizontal range of the jet so the <coughs> what is capital t time taken by the jet to move from the old and to come and strike the ground horizontal surface that is what this capital t exit okay let's get into next part what is the expression for range? Range should be equal to V1 into, if you're getting confusion, write only V. V into T, so this should be equal to how much? G3 capital H minus 2H root of 2H by G gets eliminated. So the expression for range will be uh, 6 capital H minus 4 h square. So let's differentiate this 1 by 2 is telling it should be at a height 3h by 4. The wall should be 3h by 4. Definitely, okay, fine. What is the height of the denser liquid? 2 rho. So where do it should be 3h by 4? Then what is that maximum range of the jet? It should be equal to, let's substitute the value of small h. Okay, let's nine H square by two, uh, one four, so three H square by four, nine H square by four. 
H will come outside. Anybody value? Three H by four. H by three H by four. Three H by two. Okay, complete problem is visible. So this will be our answer. Sir. No. In the previous question, if we apply Bernoulli's theorem, then we are getting different to each other. Yes, sir. We'll get us root five, sir. Sir, we need to calculate yeah, pressure and height yeah. of water, no, sir. Oh, 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 oh. Two row one. Two row one. Oh, I think I, I just messed up. Huh? Density is row one, row two. I thought everywhere density is same. Huh? Yes, sir. Density I took everywhere same. Uh, everything we have to change. Huh? Only I think touch force we have to change. Huh? Touch force I'll change it. Huh? We need space also. I'll, I'll, I'll do one thing. I'll write it here. Oh, I didn't notice. No, I thought everywhere density is same. Huh? Mm, okay, I'll write down the equation. No, so there's a point. A and B will take it. Point A and B. Uh, shall I shall I write it here? Hmm? I think it's visible. Only only the velocity yes. of reflex I to change. Am I right? That's all. Everything will come. Yes, sir. Huh? I'll, I'll write all the equation. P A plus U A plus K equal to P B plus U B plus K B. Pressure at A will be. P naught plus rho one G one H one rho two G. Okay, then let me substitute all the values here. No problem. G H one will be how much? Zero point three. Rho two G. This will be zero point one. Pressure at B will be P naught. Plus U. The liquid will be at rest. Please, please make observation. Some some changes I'm making. U plus rho two b square by two. Awesome. So p not gets eliminated. Rho one g rho one is how much? Six hundred. Let, let's see that. Six hundred ten zero point three. Rho two will be twelve hundred ten into zero point one. Plus rho two is how much? Twelve hundred v square by two. Okay, check it. How how much it will be? Three three eighteen hundred. What happened? Root five. Root five. Ah. Huh? Okay. Let, let let me do it. Ah. Huh? Uh, this will be three three eighteen hundred eighteen hundred and twelve hundred eighteen hundred twelve hundred three thousand. Four four. Why root five? Uh, root five root again. five root five only. No root five meter per second. Okay, this will be the change cell. Will will make it. Huh? Okay, I think till th this will be slight changes. So then this will become five whole square. Three newtons. Three newton. Huh? Yes. Sir. Yes. Sir. Three newton. 
Hmm. Okay, then this option will be correct. Three Newton. This option will be correct. External force I should apply equal to three Newton. There's no problem with this. Here it will be root five. Hmm. Three it will be three plus uh, limiting friction. How much we got? Sixteen point eight. Nineteen point eight. Yeah, everything will be. Let's analyze all options one by one. So I I got the values. Okay, thanks. Somebody made good observation. I was in a re. You see that one. If the surface of the vessel magnitude how much three newton is what I should apply here to keep it in equilibrium. So this will be correct option. If the surface on which vessel is placed in smooth, then no force is needed to maintain its static equilibrium. This option will be wrong. If the surface on which will be placed, the minimum force needed to apply on the vessel to maintain static equilibrium, zero. This is correct. This is correct. Okay, fine. Check all the conditions. Hmm? That only velocity of f flex was uh, we use a wrong formula. Hmm? Okay, let's come for this one. Hmm? So, if multiple liquids come, so all of you getting the idea how to write. Uh, The Bonnolis equation. Once again, I'll put it. P two P one. You you can take like this. P two P one. Pressure at this point. It's P naught. And two and one are on same horizontal level. Then the liquid here. Which liquid will emerge out if you if you make all here this yellow color liquid will emerge out? No. So what is the density of this emerging liquid? Will be two rho. So therefore, two rho v square by two. Are are you getting this? And what is V? V is here. Then what is the pressure at two? P naught plus rho g h plus two rho g capital H minus small h plus potential G is u. The the whole equation will be at rest. This one rest all solving will get the required answer. I think uh, what you have to focus. I think really a student has to put effort on this one. No? How you can write this Bernoulli's equation? So this is the core part of the problem. Once you understand this, rest all you can manage. The other part is very simple. Am I right? Please do focus on the core idea. Rest all mathematics. Rest all mathematics. We know. We know all the other ideas. So in every problem, writing Bernoulli's theorem is what uh, I think is a decider one.